Hello friends, today we will learn voltage drop calculation for distribution line. We will learn calculation from transformer LV panel to feeder pillar or consumer feeder pillar. So without any delay, first I am writing voltage drop formula that is VD equal to I multiplied by L multiplied by VD divided by 1000 where VD equal to voltage drop I equal to load current in ampere L equal to cable length in meter and VD equal to voltage drop per ampere per meter. You can get this VD value or constant value, we can say constant value from cable catalog. Here you can see the cable size and voltage drop ampere per meter rating is mentioned. Left side is the cable size and right side is their constant that is voltage drop per ampere per meter. We will use this value in our voltage drop calculation. Now we have to find out current I and we know I equal to P divided by root 3 multiplied by V multiplied by cos phi. This is for 3 phase where P equal to power in kilowatt, V equal to 415 volt, cos phi equal to 0 0.85. We will consider here 8, 0 0.85 power factor. Now putting this all value in the formula then I equal to P multiply by 1000 because it is in kilowatt divided by 1.732 multiply 415 multiply is 0 0.85. After solving we get I equal to 1.64 P. Now we will use this current value in our further calculation. Now I am going to make layout drawing for LV distribution from, from transformer LV panel to street light feeder pillar or consumer feeder pillar. This is the transformer 11 kb by 415 volt and this is transformer side LV panel having four feeder F1, F2, F3, F4 as you can see here now we are taking connection from feeder 4 I draw this main cable from F4 and I consider this cable size 4 core 300 mm square copper cable from main cable we make T joint for feeder pillar or consumer distribution feeder pillar Now this all red color cable is considered as 4 core 300 mm square copper cable that is main cable and we made T joint with main cable that is service cable its size is 4 core 70 mm square which is feeding to feeder pillar or consumer feeder pillar this cable I make in yellow color let me write the name of this T joint T1, T2, T3 and so on because we have to calculate voltage drop at each joint. Now naming this all feeder pillar, F, feeder pillar 1, feeder pillar 2 and so on. Finally layout has completed. I also mention here the load of all feeder pillars as you can see and length as well. From transformer feeder panel to first T joint is mentioned here that is 41 meter. T joint 1 to T joint 2 distance is 108 meter and so on. You can see here all load of feeder pillar is mentioned here. Feeder pillar 1 has total load 18.36 kilowatt. Feeder pillar 2 has 27.90 and so on. Now let us start calculation in Excel sheet. I am writing here feeder root from and to. Then this is demand load which is showing in the drawing. This is connected load. This is current. This is cable length cable size this is the constant here is the voltage drop and finally voltage drop percentage for feeder pillar root we can write from transformer F4 to T1 then from T1 to T2 parallelly we will write all values which we know which we get from drawing so length of the cable from TXF4 transformer panel F4 to T1 is 41 and T1 to T2 is 108. Now from joint T2 to T3 length 560 
then from T3 to T4, 110, and T4 to T5, 95, again from T4 to T6, 190 meter, and then T3 to T7, 70 meter. This all cable has 4 core 300 mm square size. And their constant we can get from here. For 300 mm square size cable constant is 0 0.20 as you can see here 0 0.20. Then we will write for 4 core 70 mm square cable from T1 to feeder pillar 1, length is 17 meter. And cable size is 4 core 70 mm. And their constant is 0 0.58. Now from T2 to feeder pillar 2, length 10 meter, T5 to feeder pillar 4, length 14 meter, T6 to feeder pillar 5, 14 meter. And from T7 to feeder pillar 3, length is 6 meter. Now copy all and paste. Now we have to fill other details here. For demand load, we will start from lowest end of the circuit. So, load from T1 to feeder pillar 1 is 18.36 kilowatt. Feeder pillar 2 has 27.90. Feeder pillar 4, 3.88. Feeder pillar 5, 5.51. And feeder pillar 3, 20.45. Now we will calculate load of each T joints. We have to find out how much load has distributed from each joint. So first look here from F4 to joint T1, at T1 entire load has distributed to all feeder pillar. That is why we will calculate all outgoing load together. So sum of all feeder pillar load will be Twenty six point one zero kilowatt. Now from T one to T two joint, the outgoing load is equal to the load of feeder pillar two, feeder pillar three, feeder pillar four, and five. We, so we can add all these loads, and it becomes fifty seven point five four kilowatt. Same way we will do from T two to joint T three, and at T three we add all outgoing load that is sum of feeder pillar three, feeder pillar four, and feeder pillar five. Then from T3 to T4, sum of feeder pillar 4 and 5, then from T4 to T5, the outgoing load is equal to total load of feeder pillar 4, then from T4 to T6 is equal to total load of feeder pillar 5 that is 5.51 kilowatt and finally from T3 to T7 the outgoing load is equal to feeder pillar 3 
Now for connected load, we will consider 10% extra from demand load. So after adding 10% extra, it becomes 83.71. Now drag up to down, we get all values of connected load. Now we will calculate current value. You remember we calculated I value earlier. Now we put this value in Excel sheet, I equal to 1.64p. 1.64 multiplied by power and power we take from here. Hence the current is 137.28 ampere now we get all values to achieve voltage drop at this point so equal to current multiply by length multiply by cable constant divided by 1000 this is the formula it become 1.13 volt that means voltage drop from f4 to t1 is 1.13 volt now we have to find out current from t1 to t2 so I can write here equal to bracket 1.64 multiplied by power then multiplied by bracket 415 minus 1.13 divided by 415. Why I did this because, because we are feeding 415 volt from transformer feeder F4 and after voltage drop, we receive voltage at T1 is 415 minus 1.13 equal to 413.87 volt. So 413.87 volt we are receiving at this joint T1. That is why I calculated current with the respect of actual voltage receiving at T1. With the respect of actual voltage receiving at T1. Now voltage drop from T1 to T2 is 2.24. And uh, total voltage drop from Tx F4 to joint T2 will be after adding voltage drop up to T1 plus voltage drop T1 to T2 and is equal to 3.37. Same way we will calculate current T2 to T3 with the respect of receiving voltage at joint T2. If we drag downward then here voltage drop added from F4 to T2 that is 3.37 plus voltage drop from T2 to T3 then it become 9.35. Then current from T3 to T4 current will be 16.56 and total voltage drop up to T4 is 9.71 volt. Now coming to joint T4, here load is distributed to different feeder pillar. So first we calculate from T4 to T5, then we will calculate T4 to T6. So for T4 to T5, current will be 6.84 amp because voltage drop up to T4 is 9.71. So this current is calculated with the respect of the receiving voltage at joint T4. Then the voltage drop up to T5 is 9.84. In how it come 9.84? I will tell you. Voltage drop up to T4. Total voltage drop up to T4 plus voltage drop from T4 to T5. Then it become 9.84 volt. Then from same joint T4 to T6, current will be calculated with the respect of receiving voltage at joint T4.
here we will multiply voltage drop value up to t4 then current becomes 9.71 And voltage drop up to T6 will be 10.08. That means voltage drop up to T4 plus voltage drop from T4 to T6 and it become 10.08 volt. Then joint from T3 to T7 current will be calculated with the respect of receiving voltage at joint T3. And how much drop we have at joint T3 is 9.35 volt. So we will put this value here and then current will be 36.06 amp. And voltage drop will be 9.35 plus voltage drop T3 to T7. And it becomes 9.85. That means total voltage drop up to T7 is 9.85 volt. Now we will do calculation for service cable that is uh, 4 core 70 mm square. Here current from T1 to feeder pillar 1 equal to 1.64 same formula we will apply 1.64 uh, multiply current connected load multiplied by 415 minus 1.13 divided by 415 why i reduce 113 volt because we calculated current with respect of receiving voltage up to t1 up to t1 joint and the joint t1 we have drop voltage drop here 1.13 volt and we receive voltage at t1 is 413 a 0.87 volt as I show you earlier then the current will be 33.03 amp then current from T2 to feeder pillar 2 will be 49.92 amp same formula we will apply for all joint T5 to feeder pillar 4 to be calculated with the respect of voltage drop up to T5 and we take voltage drop at T5 from here that is 9.84 then current will be then current will be 6.83 ampere so for T6 to feeder pillar 5 we take value from here that is 10.08 the current will be 9.70 amp and last joint and last joint from T7 to feeder pillar 03 we take voltage drop value from here 9.85 and then current will be 36.0 now we calculate voltage drop up to feeder pillar 1 so the voltage drop will be 1.13 plus current multiplied by length multiply cons multiplied by constant value divided by 1000 it become 1.45 volt that's mean voltage drop from f4 to t1 plus voltage drop t1 to feeder pillar 1 then total drop will be 1.45 volt now voltage drop up to feeder pillar 2 will be voltage drop voltage drop from f4 to t2 plus voltage drop from t2 to feeder pillar 2 so i will take value of voltage drop from here that is 3.37 this voltage drop is up to t2 this voltage drop is up to t2 joint t2 plus voltage drop t2 plus feeder pillar 2 then we calculated voltage drop up to feeder pillar 4 for that we calculate voltage drop up to t5 plus t5 to feeder pillar 4 
and we take voltage drop up to T5 from here and then add calculation for T5 to feeder pillar 4 and it become 9.9. .9. So we do all calculation like that. Once we calculate all value, then finally we find out voltage drop percentage. For voltage drop percentage, we will make formula equal to voltage drop multiplied by 100 divided by 415 volt and drop percent is 0 0.27. Now I drag up to downward. So these all are the voltage drop percentage. Here you can see maximum voltage drop percentage is 2.43. That is acceptable. As per a standard voltage drop, it should be less than 2.5%. Here we have selected 4 core 300 mm square cable. That means this size of cable OK to install. Suppose if we selected 4 core 150 mm square cable, then what will happen? Let's see. Its constant value is 0 0.32. We put this value in excel sheet, see the voltage drop increased and it become more than 2.5% that is not acceptable. Now let's select uh, le next bigger size of cable that is 4 code 240 mm square cable and its constant value is 0 0.23. After putting this value, still voltage drop is more than 2.5%. That is why we can move to next higher size of cable. And the next higher size of cable is 4 core 300 mm square, which we already calculated earlier. So 4 core 300 mm square cable is good to go. And for service, service cable, 4 core 70 mm square this cable also perfect. So thank you very much to watching this video. Please do like and subscribe Rashidikbal channel. We will see you in next video.